Welcome to this video on the Contax Aria camera. The Contax Aria was an automatic exposure camera using full program and aperture and shutter speed priority modes with manual override aimed at the amateur market. It is a manual focus camera that has centre weighted matrix and spot metering. It takes lenses of the Contax Yashica line made by Carl Zeiss, Yashica and other manufacturers. The Aria was one of the last of the Contax 35mm manual focus film cameras. There was also a 70th anniversary special edition of the Aria produced. Introduced in 1998, the camera has a built-in motor drive for film advance and rewind. The film speed range is 6 to 6 to 400 ASA in one third of a stop increments and also DX coding support over the range of 25 to 5000 ASA. Metering is matrix, centre weighted or spot metering. The range of shutter speeds is from 4 seconds to 1 4000th of a second in manual and shutter speed priority modes and from 16 seconds to 1 4000th of a second in aperture priority and program modes. The shutter speeds are squartz controlled and stepless. Shutter flash sync is 125th of a second. An electronic cable release can be attached to a custom socket. There is also a depth of field preview button. Multiple exposures are supported. Interchangeable focusing screens are available for this camera. Exposure compensation of plus or minus two stops is available in one third of a stop increments. TTR flash with contact flash units is supported. Automatic exposure bracketing is available up to plus or minus one stop in one half of a stop increments. The main controls on the contacts area are the on off switch which also incorporates the AE lock and shutter release. The display panel with exposure counter, drive mode indication and optionally an indication of whether the camera is using DX film speed reading and a low battery state indication. The ISO button. The drive mode button. The exposure compensation dial. The ABC mode lever. The flash hot shoe with TTL connector pins. The shutter speed dial. Camera mode selector lever. On the back of the camera are the viewfinder cover, the metering type switch. Camera mode lever release button. On the front of the camera are the lens release at the top of the lens mount. The depth of field preview button at the bottom of the lens mount. Electronic self timer LED in the grip. On the right of the camera is the cable release socket. PC sync port. Film backdoor release catch. The manual film rewind button. On the bottom of the camera is a tripod socket and the battery compartment that takes two CO2 batteries. The main power switch has the shutter release in the middle of it. The power switch goes from off to on to AEL for auto exposure lock, which saves the current metered exposure value. The shutter speed is set by rotating the shutter speed wheel. The film speed can either be set to DX for auto film setting with DX coded films or manually. The film speed is specified by pressing down the ISO button with the camera switched on and holding it down for two seconds. The display will then start flashing. Pressing the ISO button causes the value of the film speed to be increased and pressing the drive button causes it to be decreased. The value desired is set using the buttons and then the camera is switched off to save the film speed setting. DX mode can be selected using this method. In automatic mode, exposure compensation is set by rotating the exposure compensation dial. Compensation range is plus or minus two stops in one third of a stop increments. 
The film rewinds automatically when the end of the film is reached. It can be rewound partway through a film using the manual rewind button. There is a little plastic pin on the original camera strap for pushing the button. The camera supports six different camera modes. Program mode, where the camera sets both aperture and shutter speed. AV or aperture priority, where the aperture is set on the lens and the camera sets the appropriate shutter speed. TV mode or shutter speed priority, where the shutter speed is set on the shutter speed dial and the camera sets the aperture. In both TV and program modes, the aperture is set to the minimum value using an MM lens and the camera sets the appropriate lens aperture. Shutter speed priority and program modes only work with MM lenses, which have the minimum aperture marked in green to match the green of the P and TV on the mode dial. M is for manual exposure mode, where you set both the aperture and the shutter speed. The X setting is for flash sync mode. And B is for long exposures. The modes are selected by pushing in the mode lever release lock on the back of the camera and rotating the camera mode lever to the desired mode. The drive mode dial enables you to select single frame advance, continuous advance or multiple exposure mode. The camera also has an electronic self timer supporting a 10 second delay. The drive mode is set by holding down the drive button for 2 seconds until the display flickers and then using the ISO and drive button to select the required drive mode as per setting the film speed. A contact diopter lens can be mounted in the viewfinder cover. The ABC mode enables a series of three exposures to be taken, one at the set exposure value and one each above and below the metered value by the exposure bracket value. The exposure bracket value is set using the dial. Three frames at 0.5 stops bracket. Three frames at one stop bracket. The metering mode is selected by rotating the switch. The modes are matrix, center weighted, and spot. The cable release socket is used to connect a contacts cable release and all the compatible accessories. The contacts RE uses the contacts cable release S or cable release L type cable releases. There is a PC sync port for use with a flash that does not use a hot shoe. You have to ensure the shutter speed is set to 1 125th of a second or lower. The camera supports TTL flash metering with contact flashes. The RE is compatible with later contact flashes in TTL mode, although it will not support all of the features of the TLA 360. Although second curtain sync is supported and auto setting of the film speed and aperture are also supported as is flash unit light compensation. A flash can be connected either to the PC sync port or the hot shoe. TTL flash only works via the hot shoe connector. In automatic mode with a contacts flash attached that supports TTL metering, the camera automatically switches to 1 125th of a second flash sync speed. Sometimes a lower flash sync speed is set depending on the camera mode. The viewfinder illustration from the brochure is shown here. The viewfinder displays the shutter speed with over and under exposure indications. The aperture value currently set on the lens is displayed. An indication of whether manual exposure is being used is displayed along with the metering mode. There is also an indication of when exposure compensation is in use and a flash ready indication which also doubles as a flash confidence indication. The frame number is also displayed or other information such as the time left on the self timer. The Contax Aria is the lightest of the Contax SLRs and the only one of the manual focus range to support matrix metering. 
He was described by contacts in his brochure as an essay in freedom, a camera with wings. It has long been suggested that the art was intended by contacts to appeal to female photographers. I cannot find any direct evidence of this, although the style of the brochure perhaps reflects a late 90s marketing department's idea of something designed to appeal to a female demographic. The Aria is quite different from most other of the Contact's manual focus SLR range. Being a lot lighter and incorporating matrix metering, which is handy when shooting slides, it complements the other SLRs nicely and adds a lightweight option to the range of cameras. The viewfinder is excellent and the camera is very easy to use. It is one of my favourites of the manual focus SLR line. The viewfinder gives consistent focusing with an f1.4 lens from near and far and a precise indication of correct focus when used with fast lenses. The Contax Aria supports a magnifier or right angle finder being fitted on the viewfinder. Four different focusing screens are available. It can be used with the Orto Macro Bellows PC. The camera has a built in winder, a wide range of accessories connect to the cable release socket, including infrared controllers and radio controllers. There is a data back, the D9 for the Aria, which supports printing summary data at the start of the film and data printed between each frame. It also supported interval timer functionality. The camera also supports some custom functions which are set in a similar manner to the ISO and drive mode. You hold down both the ISO and drive mode buttons for two seconds to enter custom function mode. See the manual for further details. The Aria is one of the newer contacts and seems to be quite reliable. The film back lock tends to develop a fault which causes the latch to not auto lock on closing, but this can be easily locked by sliding the latch across manually. If considering buying an Aria, I would look for one in good condition and consider getting it serviced.